I don't want to get too far away from your last question. You said a statement. You said that women has it, have it harder than men, right? Yes. In what way? I think that most women uh, have it more difficult because they uh, have childbirth. Women are expected to uh, be the primary caregiver in the home. Right. That's and, their job given to them by God. Well, that's... Isn't that true? Well, I think it's both the thing. The husband has a job too. No, right, but not to be the caretaker in the home. It, God gave the woman a job. Is that true? Well, I think it's equal. I think God God made Adam and Eve. He didn't make right, but, just just Eve to be a servant. But he gave the woman the job to take care of the children, be the caretaker in the home, and then the man to go out and provide for the woman and the children or child. Is that true or not? Well, that's true. Uh, historically. And so how is that harder than the man then, if that's true? The greatest threat to masculinity is not feminism. The greatest threat to masculinity are feminist men. Men who are effeminate, who have affection for the feminism cause. They are the ones who are aiding the feminists. Without these men, feminism won't go as far as it has gone today to destroy the family, destroy the culture and destroy the structure of society. Welcome to today's installment of Culture War. Every day is a culture war. Enjoy this video. Let's watch Jesse as Jesse takes on this very um, important topic. If you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell for the next new video. Let's get into it. You said that women has it, have it harder than men, right? Yes. In what way? Well, as I point out in my book, uh, The Abortion Bible, uh, the fact is that women, um, we went back, we talk about racism, okay? Do you believe there's such a thing as sexism? No. Okay. Uh, I disagree with that. I think that most women uh, have it more difficult because they uh, have childbirth. Women are expected to... Uh, be the primary caregiver in the home. Right. That's and, their job given to them by God. Well, that's, Isn't that true? Well, I think it's both the thing. The husband has a job too. No, right, but not to be the caretaker in the home. It, God gave the woman a job. Is that true? Well, I think it's equal. I think God God made Adam and Eve. He didn't make right, but, just just Eve to be a servant. But he gave the woman the job to take care of the children, be the caretaker in the home, and then the man to go out and provide for the woman and the children or child. Is that true or not? Well, that's true. Uh, historically. And so how is that harder than the man then, if that's true? That's her natural state of being given to her by God. Why is that hard? I just think that women have more challenges in life in our modern society. Like what, for now, example? Well, if you take a look historically, right, over the last several thousand years, women had very, very little choices as far as their own life is concerned. The big problem is taking place, as I mentioned in my book, is that women need to be respected. And that women, many times here, are expected not only to raise the kids, but half the women are actually working. We have today in the society uh, high divorce rates, and we have probably, um, um, there are one out of every five children today are being raised in a single family home, right. mother or father. Right. So you have one out of four uh, kids being raised out there. A woman has to work. She doesn't have to, she wants to because she thinks she's better than the man. She wants to be equal to the man. And so she, her, on her ego trip, she has an accept her responsibility as the wife and the mother of the man's children. And she's unwilling to stay home and raise the man's children because she's jealous of the man. I don't believe that. Yeah. No. They were going to sacrifice the children to a daycare center than to raise the children. Well, Isn't that right? No, because everybody's walk in life is different. You Your mean? walk in my life are different. So if I have a single mother, let's say the husband has died, let's say there was a divorce, okay? The reality is a wife has to be able to put food on the table. Right. She but has to be able to have a job. women who are married and they don't have to work. Oh, well, that's, that's a choice. What a wonderful world. But that's world. an evil choice, though. 
what a wonderful world. Isn't there that are, an evil, selfish choice? Uh, well, let's, let's take a look at it. It's fantastic that women who are in a position financially to make that choice, whether to work or stay at home, is a wonderful opportunity. Now, for example, many women, if they have children who are in school during the day, they choose to go to work. Selfish. Excuse me? That's ego. During, while, while the kids are in school? Yes, because she has things that need to be done at home, cleaning, washing, cooking, preparing for the kids to come home from school, yeah. and all that. She so, doesn't have time to go to some job. Yeah. She doesn't have time. She doesn't need to. The man, is, he got that. He's taking care of it. But she's so jealous of the male, Satan got her thinking that, oh, you need to go to work because the man, you want to be equal to the man. Isn't that true? No. No? No. Why else would she want to go out and work if it wasn't for her ego? Well, I don't believe that at all. The fact is we have to respect women for the choices they make. Some women, some women, if I have two small children, if I have two children, say, in elementary school, Many women will sometimes, if they are able to, will stay home while the kids are, are toddlers or very young. But once the kids are in school, they go back to work. One fascinating thing, as I put in my book, is that in married families today, one third of all marriages, one out of three now almost, that the wife makes more money than the husband does. That's a sad commentary. Well, but it's a reality. It's evil too because it makes the woman think she's better than the man. And now she's difficult to deal with at home because she's like, I'm better than you. I made more money. You, you don't tell me what to do. A man, should he, he should divorce her right away the moment she started talking that mess. Isn't that true? No, I completely disagree. <laughs> well, I completely I, disagree. Because well, how messed up the kids are, how the world hmm. is becoming because women are refusing to be women and mothers and wives. They want to be like the man. They never can be like the man. They will never be equal to the man. And the man is supposed to guide her because women cannot make the right decisions. They, they, they don't have the mentality to do that. Well, I disagree with that completely. They're not logical. They're illogical beings. No. No, women are smart. In fact, here's something fascinating. No, women are cunning. No. Women are smart. And I'll tell you why. If I go from today all the way through, through college, who gets better grades in school, men or women? Men. No. Yeah, women may get better grades and learn how to sew and cook and clean, but when it comes to science and math and all that, men are better at it. No, sometimes it's by acculturation of people uh, that are in those fields. But women have come a huge way compared to just say since World War II. But it's still not better than the man. They had lower the standard for the woman, just like they did with the blacks. They become women and and, and cannot come up to the standard of the man. They lowered the standards and they promoted the woman as though she was smart in order to appease her ego so that they can get votes, they can get money from the woman, they can use the women in that way. Very interesting debate. Like I said, it's up to us, um, the men, we are the ones who have to hold a fort for masculinity because the way it's going right now, masculine, masculinity is extinct, it's becoming extinct right now. The women are taking over, women are doing it. and it's because we men are allowing them and lowering our standards because we're trying to be gentlemen and trying to accommodate them but now the repercussion is that when these people these women you now come to those those top positions now they don't they disregard the men entirely they actually um hate men you know these people who climb up to those these those um, um top these women who climb up to those top positions actually have an agenda in mind they're not going there with a pure or clean agenda. So you should know that right from off. They want to delete, they want to delete the patriarchy. They want to delete men, basically. They want to be in charge. That's the truth. Women are very controlling. They like to control, they like to be in charge. And the man is supposed to tame the woman. That was why even in the Bible, you see that the, the women were not permitted to, you know, teach because women were very rowdy and unruly, you know, not coordinated. That's not that's their nature. And that's why we as the men are the ones that are supposed to control them and put them in check. It's just natural that way. A man should be a man. A woman should be a woman. There should be no competition. We have our core skills. Women have their core skills. 
they can give birth a man cannot carry a child for nine months so these are things that we should know that women are special and men are special there's no competition but men should all not not um usurp their positions or rather men should not give up their positions just because they're trying to please the the women and because and because of that you see the society is upside down right now no structure single moms you know um and children depressed and, and 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 all that so these are things we need to change all right that's my opinion if you drop your opinion in the comment section i'd like to see it um if you've not subscribed to the channel yet please what's what are you waiting for just subscribe right away and turn on your notification bell for the next uh, video i'll see you in the next one Bye bye